We're in the hydrotherapy pool. It's an area that we use for early stage, middle stage, late stage rehab. The water does two things. First of all, it allows us to run players very early on without putting weight onto tissues. Um, it also allows us to emit some sort of pressure at depth. Obviously, the deeper we go, the more pressure, and we can keep fluid down and, and help to make the joints move a lot quicker. Rhiannon is one of our pool specialists who comes in and does some work with players. It shocks them how quickly they can get back. You know, they can be injured one day, two days later, they're in the water doing things that they didn't think they could do. And then suddenly they get out of the water and go, oh, I've just done that, and then they, they know they're getting better. The deep end allows us to run the players without touching any contact with the floor at all, so it's completely non-weight bearing. But then we can bring them over to this side and do the same action, but on a weight bearing surface. So again, that's, that's increasing their rehabilitation stage. So we do gait analysis um, of injured players. We use impact free training for anybody who's got an injury or had surgery when they can't be weight bearing so they can replicate their land based gait as much as possible so it's keeping them specific for their sport. If the injury is not too severe or not needed any particular treatment or therapy you can use water so you're using the hydrostatic pressure of water to help reduce any of the muscle trauma. So we would use deep water which is 90% nutri buoyant coming into the shallow side if they can be weight bearing on it. Normally Normally there's a thermocline effect at the top of the pool, so the warmer water's at the top and the cooler water's at the bottom. And also the hydrostatic pressure will help to reduce any edema or swelling. So basically there's about eight times the compression of a flight sulk at five foot of water depth, and then at three foot of water depth there's about three times the compression rate. So it's great for reducing micro traumas and micro tears in muscle injury. So we use lots of different things in the pool really to keep the guys a focused on their sport but also stop them getting bored so we've got the little keepy uppy balls for the footballers are great for doing keepy uppy skills we do boxing because that actually takes their mind off things and also gets them using different parts of their body really we also have to concentrate on sport sport isn't linear it's quite multi-planar so we need to bring in different dimensions so some days we'll have skateboards in we've got rotor discs and then we use things like the foam bats as well just to create a long lever action to create some rotational movements 